Then you gotta love that. Oh, big one. Let him go back up. Let him go back up. That's a big one. That's a big fish. Yep, big walleye. All of a sudden things get yep. serious. Hey, what's up this week, everybody? I'll tell you what's up with us. We are heading up to Ashland to see the one and only Tommy Hicks beyond the catch. You know what? I've got something for Tommy this week. I've got a little bit of a challenge. We're going to be going inland this time instead of fishing out on the big water, Lake Superior. And I've got a feeling that Tommy's going to probably struggle a little bit on this one. So stay tuned. Let's see what happens this week up in Ashland. Never looked at a map, but I'm saying the fish are gonna be right here. Let's try it here. Let's try it here. There it is. That took all of about two minutes. Nothing huge. Nice little crappie on a hook. We'll take that for a first fish on a lake. I haven't been on in the first hole. Night, night. There you go, Tommy. That looks like a better fish. Oh, that's a nice crappie. I like the colors of them. Right. Take that. But there's some bigger ones here, man. Yeah. There he goes, yep. Yeah. Oh, that one just came and absolutely slammed it. A little better one? Oh, that's a better one for sure. Hey, I'll tell you what, what a great way to start the morning off here. And uh, catching crappies. Got the old cobra on there with a the little plastic. And you know, we're, I'm fishing about 14 feet of water here and I was about five or six feet off the bottom and just working it real slow. Gotta love that. Crappie fishing at its finest. You know a cool thing too about fishing these lakes? It's supposed to be a windier day today. And uh, you know, with all the trees around here, and we're kind of in a valley, uh, it's kind of nice not having that wind beating on you. You don't need to have your gloves and big jackets on. I'm gonna let this one go. The other thing I was doing here too, is that I'm using plastics and I got this cobra on here. And I've also got, I'm always, anytime the water temperature is below 52 degrees, I like to always use scent. So this is kind of a gel form right here. So I'm just kind of mixing that up there. There you go. Love that. Fix my plastic. Get it all down there. Boy, that one just came screaming right up. I just missed one and he came off. And uh, I had him about halfway up and I was dropping back down and that fish just came just screaming for him. Hey Tommy, I'll tell you what, we fished this lake and that's a great part about these areas like this. There is lakes literally everywhere. All Caught a lot of crappies, but mostly all small ones. So now we're gonna pull down the road about a half a mile yep. or two miles and we're gonna do some walking. You said you got a we'll lake a that's walking. way back in there? Ain't gonna hurt. Oh, I'll take the walking any day of the week. Which way? Let's go left. Over the river and through the snow to Tommy's lake we go. The crappies will be fine. His girl likes to drink a lot of wine. I'm sure not in mind. You are so good. You are a wizard. They were feeding there we heavy go. and he couldn't help it. Yeah, they are definitely putting the feed bags on. It's a storm coming through. There it goes. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Nice. On the cobra. Nothing wrong with that. 
Just switch lakes. Well, you, I didn't, I'm not even fishing yet. I like when they do that. On the cobra. I got a little power bait on there, on the cobra. That's the number 12 cobra. We'll see, I marked one and he came up. Gotta keep getting up. Hooked up. Well, I got her. Nice one. Hooked up, that's a good fish right there. Take that. Yeah, you gotta like that. I love the colors of these fish on these. You know what I have going here? The willow spoon. Yeah, I've got the old willow spoon. I like it. And you gotta love that. On the fire tiger. On the old fire tiger. You told me that earlier. Go to the fire tiger, put a grub on there and... Nice fish. Yeah, you gotta a love it. better size quality at this lake now. Yep, they are. And a little meatier, so little meatier. definitely a, little... a better, better forage base on this body of water. This little fl front coming through might be helping too. You see we got a crappie most likely just about a foot off bottom, but when I swing this transducer, see that one just below my lure? Here's my bait here. Look at this one's coming up off the side. He's coming into the cone now. So we got one fish on the screen. Look around me now. See there's a few more off to the sides. Just swinging that transducer. If you think about it, it's like a flashlight on a rope. You know, when you, if you put that up in your ceiling and you swing that flashlight, it's moving that beam all over. So instead of drilling just a ton of holes in a small area, we spread them out a little bit. You can swing that transducer. We're marking a pretty good cone then. We're coming up. There Senior, you're hooked up. Hooked up. Hooked up. Nicer one. Here, buddy. Nice fish. It's a nice one. Hooked up. No crappie. On a slow poke jig. A slow poke on? Slow poke, yep. Yeah. Orange. Slow poke. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna get him. Slow poke. Going down. Slow poke? Ooh, that looks pretty good. Huh? Almost looks like you know what you're doing. Uh, kind of scary. Oh, hooked up. Ooh, this feels like a little bit better. I just put some more. Oh, there, that is a little better. Caught in my Vixler. A little bit better one. Again, on the old willow spoon. And just basically, you know, what I've been doing is I've been staying off bottom about four to five feet and uh, marking a lot of fish on bottom. But these other ones just seem to slide in and they're right at about that four foot range. So I'm just staying above them and come racing up. And I kind of just keep working the bait slow. Just keep raising it real slow. Seems to be working. Not killing them, but I'm definitely picking away at them. Stuff here. That's good stuff. Huh? Oh, here we go. Look Tom, at that. What are you doing stealing my scent? Let me get your deucer while I'm here. Hooked up. Hooked up. Oh, oh that's nice a little fish. better one, huh? Nice fish. Get a grab it too. But yeah, that's a, again on that willow spoon. Just a fire a, tiger. Yep, fire tiger with a couple spikes on there. Really makes a big difference. You know, it's kind of cool. You know, we were at the other lake and we were catching a ton of crappies, but most of them were small. Yep. And we decided to make a little bit of a shift here. And uh, not saying we won't go back to the other lake maybe later tonight, unless you go fish walleyes. Yeah. But uh, again, you know, just having that that option to get to other lakes in a short time is and a cool part. We passed so many coming here. We passed Another a lot of them. I kept, here. You said six miles. I'm like, hey, you know what? We went by about 20 <laughs> lakes already. We didn't have to go six miles. <laughs> This is fun. I'm loving this today. Oh, oh, look at the size of this one. Now that's a nice gill. Look at that. Oh, look at the size of that gill. That is a tanker. Again, on that willow spoon. A couple of wax worms on there. A little bit of scent. See, this one was. Got him. Good job. And then the next jig pattern, it let it have it. Gathered the line and. Nice big Ooh, nice gill. Northern Wisconsin 
Bugio. Another go. Oh, the guillotines are going crazy. Folks, they're down. Ooh. Hooked up. Double on the guillotines. Pretty. Pretty, pretty gill. Gotta love it. Gotta love it on the guillotine. What do we got? On the cobra. Pretty colors. Pretty colors. You come by a good size one, boy, they're active. You know what, Tommy? You got a great tip for the FLX28. Why don't you tell everybody? A lot of people probably don't know that about this unit. Yep. And go yep. ahead. Well, we're fishing a lake here, pretty soft bottom, so on uh, automatic mode. A lot of times if your gain's lower on a soft bottom, you'll lose that, that depth. Right, for you're sure. Trying to read through there. So say you wanted to be, you want to have your six or 12 foot zoom on. Let's turn that towards so everybody. You want to be in low power mode. Okay. So shut your unit off, put it in low power, hold your gain down. As it's off. As it's off. Right. Turn it on. Now it's low power. Now if you go over to your automatic zoom, your six foot or 12 foot zoom, you're still going to be in that low power mode. Awesome. So it'll, it, yeah, that's it'll, something that I actually didn't even know either. It's a little trick I learned from. Uh, Where'd you learn Corey from? Corey Studer, I think. Corey Studer? The Corey? It could have been Corey. Right? Yeah. Hey, that's a great tip. Yeah. Hey, we've got a little bit of light left here. Let's uh, let's head on out. Sounds good. Hey, welcome back here. I'll tell you what. Today we're up here in Ashland and we're with one of our new sponsors, Tony Brown. We appreciate him at Bait Rigs here. You know, Tony, we're really excited about having you for a sponsor on the show because, you know, the style of what we do, the fishing, our fishing techniques, we are hands-on. You know, we like to jig, we like to rig, and really, you guys have crankbaits and all sorts of other products, but, you know, that is the key part for me is rigging and jigging. And, and you know, Bait Rigs is a company that's been around a long time, but you guys just bought this and you guys are kind of taking it to a next level, wouldn't you say? We're coming out with the T-Bone Series crankbaits. We have a bunch of uh, new ice fishing lures that we're gonna have in the next few weeks wow. for you to show. And your show will be the first time they'll ever be seen. That's cool, very so, cool. Um, a lot of these things that people are gonna be seeing on your shows aren't even on the shelves yet. So if somebody wants to check out bait rigs and all the products that you guys have, how can they do it? www.baitrigs.com. That's it's simple enough. Simple enough. Hey, Tony, appreciate that. All right. Stay tuned. Let's see what happens next on this week's show. He's still there? Yeah, right. he Let him go. If he needs to run, run. It's definitely going to be a walleye. Come on, Katie. Let's see what you get. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. There you go. Let him go through your hands. Perfect. 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 Pike? Yep. Oh, nice job. There we go. Woo! Katie! Beautiful. Katie! Better than Gorgeous. catching them little perch in that shack, <laughs> huh? All right. All right, Katie's on the board. Woo. We are going to get some walleyes yet. No doubt. <laughs> Need a walleye. Came out for a little afternoon walleye fishing. So, yep. You know, that's the thing about these lakes like this. That walleye bite's always about the last hour. Get them? Yep. Nice job. That's where I get a wet on. Feel good? Feels like a walleye. Feels like a walleye? Last hour, well that's kind of nice, you know, we fished crappies all day today and came out and decided to come back over to this other lake. Oh, oh nice, oh, nice, 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 that's a nice eye. Woo, nice job. Nice fish. All right, nice, nice job, buddy. Nice job. Hey, you know, why is that that lakes that like up? this are always, you know, that, that last hour before it gets dark and then you get, you know, into the, into the night? That's the best fishing here. Yeah, that's yeah. true for a lot of inland lakes, morning and afternoon. Well, it worked out kind of nice because today we got to go out and fish 
crappies yep. and a bunch of bluegills. Yep. Hit a few and then lakes. We went, went and grabbed the girls and decided to bring them out and How do a little bit of walleye fishing. We got about an hour before dark, so hopefully we get a little bonanza. We got a little snow coming in now, right. too. We like that. Katie just caught a pike. Katie I caught thought a pike. for sure it's going to be a walleye. We'll get some. It's right. coming. Keep her Beautiful rolling. Fish. That's an old beaver dam, huh? An old one. An oldie but a goodie. It's one of seniors. You get him? Yep. Nice job. Taking walleye? Oh yeah. Walleye. Ooh, another nice walleye. Beautiful. That, that's awesome. Now that last one is close to the slot. We let that one go. Oops. This one here. That one's definitely in the slot. I haven't had a walleye for a while. You haven't? Well, no. three fish limit. It's not a bad idea to, to, to keep a couple here and there. You know, Beautiful. basically what we're doing is we're, this is a key thing. When you're fishing these kind of lakes like this, you can't really use a depth finder to, to go to the bottom. You want to definitely use right Good your, point. your Good Vexlar point. and watch the weeds. You want to stay right above the weeds. Yep. So you, every hole you go to, you're using and setting the tip ups with the Vexlar. We talked about that tip earlier with swinging the transducer. That's another thing. Do it when you're setting these tip ups for the walleyes. Just make sure you don't have any really high weeds close to your hole. Right. By swinging a little bit, make sure nothing's up too too far. It makes a we lot of sense. We even moved a couple because some of these holes had weeds Way too high. Way too many yeah. weeds up high, right? Beautiful. Makes Let's sense. All right. Keep them going. Where's the minnows? Be able to line here and just okay, you take it. Now. Okay, Mackenzie. Oh, there there we go. go. Don't don't be nervous, I girl. Am. All right. Don't, ready, make sure you set the hook a little good. So not not like super you hard. Anything you feel. Yeah, just wait till you feel that tension. Yeah. Keep going. Until she gets tight. That's one thing about them walleyes. You just let them sit. We're using all single hooks too. Yep. Oh, come on, you! Drop it on it? No way! How dare he? Don't see the sinker yet, which is the line marker. Feel it there? Uh -uh. Yeah, it's starting to tighten up. I can see it tightening up. You feel it? Set it. But not much. No, keep going. Keep going until you feel it good. Okay, now. Set it. Very nice. That nice was job. absolutely oh, nice perfect, good. Mackenzie. You're good. You're good. You're good. Nice job. Yep. Nice job. Nice. That was a perfect hook set. That's, That's okay. Up. Yep. Yep. Just as long as you keep it. And I like hand over hand versus letting it slide through your fingers like that, back and forth. Nice job. Just center them through the hole. What a great way to come out, enjoy the afternoon. Ooh, girl, you're doing perfect. Perfect. Nice job. All right, you got him hooked good, so yeah, you come to the leader. There you go. Now just to get him through the hole, center the hole. Oh, big one. Big Let him go back down. Let him go back down. That's a big one. That's a big fish. Yep, big walleye. All of a sudden things get yep. serious. Just this, yep. That's a big fish. You're doing perfect. Oh, that's a nice fish. Right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yep. Remember, you just got to get that head through. When he sees that that hole, he's gonna want to come. Okay. He's gonna want. He's gonna want to go back down. Oh, that's a big fish. Nice and easy. Yeah, there you, you go. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my God, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> oh, nice job. All right. Good job, Mackenzie. That is a giant walleye. Hold that fish up. Wow. That is, that was awesome. You did a perfect nice job, job, perfect hook set. Look where the hook is. It's barely in his mouth. And we gave that fish probably three, four minutes. It was you know? a long time. Yep. What a That's the key fish. to it. Awesome. You know, and look at He's a little, yeah. little running with a musky. A little run with a musky. You know, that's the great part about a lake like this, too. Three fish limit, 15 to 20. Can't keep them between 20 and 24. And fish. only one over 24. That gives these chance, these fish a chance to grow like that. That is a giant oh, walleye. Giant. Mm -hmm. Right? Nice job. Awesome. What a great thing. Awesome. You know, Biggest that's walleye. exciting, huh? Yeah. See, Biggest it was well worth awesome. coming out this afternoon to try for yeah. some walleyes, right? Absolutely. We had the fun all day long catching crappies. Yeah. You know what? And you said, Tommy, let's go get the girls and do a little evening walleye fishing oh round off the day. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful fish. That is a beautiful nice fish. Nice job. Huh? Let's get a picture and get that one back. That's a slot fish for sure. He's ready. Oh. I told you, he'll let you know when he's ready. <laughs> I don't want to hurt him. Oh, you aren't going to hurt him. Beautiful.
Well, Tommy, I'll tell you what, what an absolutely perfect day. You know, we started the morning off fishing crappies and then we caught a bunch of big bluegills too. And I'm glad you said, hey, let's round this day off by going to the Strophy Lake here for walleyes and grab the girls and Mikey. We, we got right? rid of a couple of the guys. Right. The girls and Mikey. Right. And uh, it worked out pretty good. You know, and the great part is that like this afternoon being out there with everybody was the stories. A lot fun. of really good <laughs> stories, you know? A little classic yep. early ice. Oh, you, you, gotta, you gotta love that. You know, and that's what it's all about, spending time with people. You know, Tommy, this is one of the first times we've actually fished with you on inland lakes. Yep. We typically are out on Lake Superior fishing, you know, trout out yep. there. Trout, but, salmon. Uh, it was kind of nice to do something different. Yeah, we like doing this early and late, of course, on Superior right now we're uh, lacking a little ice I would think by Christmas we'll be out there right we got out there a couple days now we had some high winds but uh, this is nice to do we come in it's a nice walleyes bunch of crappie and bluegills early and late ice I love this it's, it's it it's, definitely is is a lot of fun you know love the big lake but it's a nice mix so if people want to get a hold of you and do some fishing Tommy tell everybody how they can do it yep you can find us on Facebook of course uh, and you can give me a call 715-292-4342 and beyondthecatch.com. Can I do that too? Yeah. Beyond <laughs> the Catch! I always love doing that. I don't know why. Hey, hope everybody enjoyed our show this week. Like always, it's all about getting more people involved in the outdoors and having a lot of fun and building memories. And like I always say, remember, what a great day it is to be alive. Don't be mean to me. Don't be. <laughs> Who you do that to? You. You're dogging me. How dare you dog me? Larry uses these little treble hooks. What kind of fish does he catch? Small ones. That's embarrassing. That is a fat bite. Oh! Oh! Yeah. That got caught in your knee. Oh, dummy! <laughs>